Man, All right, man. Me. Peace. Tonight, two black parents are in a desperate fight with the state of Tennessee. Oh, tonight, two black. What does it matter with color? All right. Tonight, two black parents are in a desperate fight with the state of Tennessee over custody of their children. Five children taken away while one of them were still breastfeeding. The father locked in a cage, having to make bond for a citable offense. Emotions running high after more than a month of separation following a traffic stop. This nightmare for Deontay Williams and Bianca Claiborne began on February 17th when the family was pulled over while driving from Atlanta to Chicago for a funeral. An arrest warrant obtained by NBC News says Tennessee Highway Patrol stopped Williams for having dark tint and driving in the left lane while not actively passing. An officer smelled weed and after searching the car, found a gun, officials say, and two small amounts of marijuana. The warrant also alleges both the driver and the female passenger admitted to smoking marijuana. Williams. All right. So they both said they smoked marijuana while driving and having a gun with kids in the car. That's a problem to normal people. Now, to some people, I get it, man. That ain't shit, man. I get it. But. I, I, I technically smoking weed with a gun in the car, the kids in the car is not cool. Some, you know what I'm saying? Crossing state lines. Yeah, doing the doing the um doing the Kyle Rittenhouse man. Marijuana. Williams was arrested for possession while Claiborne was given a citation. We did not arrest the mother in, that, in this particular case. That's where we left it. Uh, the children were left in, in uh, custody. The mother had custody of the children. But hours later, something changed. She was sitting outside the criminal justice center waiting to get her partner out. And then DCS approached trying to take the children away. All five children, ages three months to seven years old, were taken by Child Protective Services. State Senator London Lamar is among those demanding the children be returned. I've never heard of children being ripped away from their family for a misdemeanor charge on some simple drug possession when marijuana is legal in half the states in the country. Their attorney telling... Is it legal in this state, though? It's not legal there. Right. Yeah, if you're a state senator, man, it's frightening that you would use that logic. This is... These sisters scare me, man. Like, she has the logic of somebody playing Tunk in some project fucking rec center fucking hallway at like three o'clock in the morning with a fucking half and it bottle. wasn't yeah just <laughs> a little weed they had weed they had a gun they got driving across state lines on yeah. the highway with children with the kids and the fucking she's supposed seat. to be her logic is supposed to be like well i mean uh you know what i'm saying she ain't supposed to be like man that ain't really shit all right that she you know she she supposed to be like State As a politician, you're supposed to be the representative. Yeah. Right? To think high, higher of yourself yeah. and others. And she doesn't even respect herself that much. She on some, man, they, man, they tripping on some little shit, man. Like, are is among those demanding the children be returned. I've never heard of children being ripped away from their family for a misdemeanor charge on some simple drug possession when marijuana is legal in half the states in the country. Their attorney telling NBC News the children were not returned to their parents after a hearing in juvenile court Monday and remain in foster care tonight, pending the results of a drug test. It's certainly extreme, but the problem is, is that courts in, in family law have such vast discretion to decide what they want to do on a case-by-case -case situation. The Department of Children's Services says caseworkers acted appropriately. You know, we talk about transparency a lot, whether that be policy, procedure, protocol, and in this case, we feel like those case managers did just that. The department did not clarify the grounds for removal, but told NBC News in a statement, DCS and law enforcement follow protocol for collecting evidence. Those findings are then presented to the court. In this instance, the evidence resulted in the court placing children in DCS custody. Tonight, still more questions than answers, as Williams and Claiborne vow they won't stop fighting for their kids. Okay, that's good. They won't stop fighting for their kids. I get that. 
and and it's and it's a fucked up situation. I'm not saying that I'm glad their kids got taken away, but we just did a stories back to back nights where fucking five kids were killed in car crack car accidents, and the, and these kids, these two got five kids in the car smoking weed. Like, I mean, who who's been here the last two nights where we did the two stories on the kids? The five kids getting killed in each car accident. Or well, one I think was in um Connecticut and the other one last night. I forgot what the one last Northern night Mississippi. Was. Yeah, Northern Mississippi. It's like, I mean, they put those kids in danger, even though it ain't really nothing. Everybody's while we all I get it, but you can't get caught, you know what I'm saying? Thou they won't stop fighting for their kids. This has got to end. And Priscilla Thompson joins us now from Atlanta. Priscilla, this seems like a very significant step for a misdemeanor. Is it common for child services to take children away from their family after a misdemeanor charge like this? Well, Ellison, it's extremely rare, according to the expert that we spoke to. And one of the key questions here is what prompted the Department of Children's Services to step in hours after the Tennessee Highway Patrol had released these children back into the custody of their mother. And so tonight there are still a lot of questions about why. this as it is now. I know why they did that. Because you're putting the children in danger, you stupid heifer been more than a month since those parents have been in had those children in uh, their custody and experts also tell us that it can take weeks if not months to reverse a decision like this Ellison Priscilla have you heard anything else from officials about this case we have not received any updates from officials. What they have told us is that there is a gag order in place, and because there are juveniles involved in all of this, they are not allowed uh, to speak about this. And we also know that the attorney for the family is now saying that she's limited on what she can say because of that gag order as well. As they wait to see whether or not those children will be returned in the coming days, the attorney says that she expects to have an update by the end of this week. Allison? Thanks for watching our YouTube having, channel. They ain't lying about family court having broad discretion, though, to uh, yeah. take your children away. No well, doubt. I mean, look, it sucks. But, you know, it, it is what it is, man. They hope they get the kids back, man. And I hope they stop smoking weed while they're driving around with the kids. Um,